If you're somebody who uses Illustrator CC, there is actually a specific panel that can literally save heaps of time for you and your graphic design workflow. Sponsoring today's video is Millinotes, the best place to plan and streamline your next graphic design project. Millinotes allows you to generate ideas and concepts with ease, and then to evolve those creations to final design solutions. As you probably know, I use Millinote myself for my design projects, and you can learn more about their awesome project planning software later in today's video, and just how helpful Millinote can be for your creative design process. Hey, welcome back to Satori Graphics, and I hope you're all doing well today. Now from Illustrator CC 2018 up until 2019, Adobe has revamped and added several new features to the Properties panel. You can locate and open the Properties panel here in the drop down window menu. Now the first thing that you want to know about the Properties panel is that the actual interface and options change depending on what you have selected. So right now I have nothing on my artboard, so there's no fonts or shapes or designs. So all of the settings you can see in the properties panel relate to the document setup itself. The main advantage of the properties panel is that it has so many different illustrator settings, functions and resources in one panel. So firstly here I can actually turn on the rulers just by clicking this icon here. So of course I can also change the measurements used for my rulers and I can even change the size of my artboard, the name of my artboard, and other artboard settings right here. Here we can activate the grid, and also we can change the document to alpha channel here. One setting I'm always changing is the keyboard increment settings, which is essentially how far you move an object by pressing left and right up and down on your keyboard. This does need to change depending on your artboard and your graphic design that you're working on. So again, I can just change that in the properties panel without having to go into the Illustrator preference settings. For example, if I feel this doesn't move fast enough across my artboard, I can just come in here and change it really, really quickly. This is the charm of the properties panel. It's just got so much open to you in an easy to access single location. But let's keep going and reveal more power in the properties panel. Now a really cool feature is here in the document setup. If you've forgotten to add some bleeds, you can just quickly add them here after creating the document yourself. And also there are other settings as well that you might want to take into consideration. But being able to add bleeds after creating the document is really, really powerful indeed. So those are the document settings that you're gonna find in the properties window. But let's see what happens when we have a shape or a design selected. So I've got some squares on my artboard here, and you're gonna notice that when I click the shape itself, the options in the properties panel instantly change. It's such a powerful resource because you can literally find almost everything within one single panel. I can quickly change the square to 25% of the original size by adjusting the height and the width numeral values. I can also rotate the square as well. You also take notice that you can add fill, stroke, and change the opacity, as well as add effects, all within the properties panel. One of my favorite resources that I think Illustrator has to offer is the appearance panel, and yeah, you've guessed it, you can even find that here in the properties panel. I've made a few tutorials on the appearance panel, and I think you need to be using this in your graphic design workflow. One of the functions I use the most when designing a logo or pretty much anything in Illustrator is the Pathfinder options. And you can actually find them below the align options. And you might have seen in previous tutorials that if you use the Pathfinder window and you hold down the command or control key, you actually change the selection into a compound shape, which means I can actually move around the cutout section of my square. But anyway, moving back on with today's tutorial, you'll notice at the very bottom of the properties panel, there is a start global edit setting. Now this is only for those who have Illustrator CC 2019, and this is a really neat and a new feature. Whatever you do to the initial shape you have selected, you will do to every other shape similar to that. 
And you can see how powerful this is when you're working on a design that uses, say, a logo across a whole branding stationary setup. This is one of the reasons why Illustrator CC is so, so powerful. You also have other options here to arrange and, you know, recolor artwork. So finally, what happens when we select text with the properties panel open? So starting at the bottom, we have a whole host of paragraph settings here, which is more than we have in the standard interface at the very top. We also have access to the font choice, the font kerning, tracking, size, and so forth. And then of course we have the effects, the fill color, the stroke, the opacity, and the location and size at the very top, which is the transform window. It should also be noted that you can drag and drop other windows into the property panel. And this is why it's so useful guys. It really will help your graphic design workflow if you just leave this panel open if you don't know the keyboard shortcuts for moving objects back and forth, they're located in the Arrange panel at the very bottom. But yeah, big thanks to Millinote for sponsoring today's video. I really do highly recommend it and I've been using it for nearly two years now myself. You can easily streamline your creative process from start to finish on any project that you're working on, but also it's very easy to share your ideas and your projects with other clients or even work colleagues. So yeah, do check out the links down below for more information on Millinotes and start streamlining your creative design process in a more efficient way today. So yeah, do let me know if you use the properties panel in your graphic design workflow. And if you don't, do you think you're gonna start using it after today's video? If you wanna keep learning essential skills as a graphic designer, make sure to subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. And if you already have, do press the bell icon so you never miss an upload. I'm Tom Satori and I hope you have a great day and until next time, design your future today. Peace.